Though South Park perfectly encaptures childhood nostalgia. Chapter 1. The Magic of Being a Child South Park is a show about a group of kids just being kids, following them as they set on adventures in the world around them, whether it's a dull one or not. South Park perfectly shows the magic of being a child, and that's what as a viewer makes it so fun and great to watch. The sense of discovery, playing your first video game, starting a toy collection, playing fantasy games with your friends in school, going on journeys, staying up all night with your friends, stuff most people can relate to or remember. Just the good old days of being a child and not having to worry about anything. This feeling South Park captures in almost every episode, and I believe it's one of the things that makes this show so great and stand out. Chapter 2 South Park's influence on me as a child. I remember as a child me and my friends trying to dig a hole down under the school that would one day turn into a military hangar for jets and more. I also remember we created fighting matches between kids and became boxers you could vote on. We played warfare and fantasy games, remembering me almost crying on a hill because my friend had been hit by a wooden stick and he was definitely gonna die. I remember me and the boys planning on getting free from school by capturing all the teachers with paintball guns. We were nine. It was just another hope of getting free from school. But it did give that feeling, and for us we almost remember back on it as, oh yeah, you remember when we got free from school by taking hostages? Because for kids, imagination is strong, and it feels more wild than it is. And it was just so amazing how anything mundane or boring we could just turn into a grand adventure in our mind with the help of our imagination. And it all seemed very real for us, even though nothing in that scale was ever close to happening. And our childhood just perfectly encaptured South Park spirit. We started to watch South Park at that age as well, and me and one of my friends were in the playground, and we were talking. And suddenly we realized that every day for us was like a new episode in South Park. And we remembered back on all the crazy plans and ideas we had, and compared them to South Park. And we just had a great laugh. And at that moment I think South Park really left a mark on my childhood that I won't forget. Chapter 3. The Act of Growing Up Later me and my friends were playing, and I just remember one of the boys asking like, aren't we getting a bit too old for this? And I remember my world turning upside down instantly, since this thought had never occurred to me that one day I wasn't gonna be able to play anymore. That day, I played with my friends thinking there was a thousand more to come, without me knowing it was my last time ever playing again. I hit the moment of growing up just like Stan does in You're Getting Old. And it really hit me, like, it was pretty harsh for me to accept, but I just did it. Just like Stan, and took that left turn, I guess, like we all did. And it's of course a pretty natural thing. I remember only being able to play sports games with the other kids, which I honestly thought sucked. It's probably the reason we all enjoy movies and games so much. They give us that escape from reality that playing with our friends as childs did as well. But yeah, we moved on. But I think this is a very important thing to take note of, because it is ideally again what makes South Park so good at scratching that nostalgia itch, getting us transported back to our childhood and letting us relive these memories that we don't have anymore. Chapter 4 why South Park holds up for all ages. Nostalgia is a big driving power for South Park, at least I think so. And that's mainly why I think it's such a great series, besides the great comedy, storytelling and social commentary. But nostalgia is also the reason I think the series is so great for everyone, and why everyone can relate to it. If you are a child, you like the dirty jokes and the story, because it relates to the same adventures you have with your friends every day in school. But when you get a bit older, teen for example, it cures your itchy face because it reminds you of having fun. You understand jokes you didn't pick up on as a child and you start to get the deeper social commentaries. And as an adult, you understand the jokes. You get all the social commentaries, but most importantly, it also reminds you of the childhood you once had with your buddies. 
and most importantly, it makes you relive it. And I think that's why South Park is such an amazing show for almost everyone, and how it captures nostalgia perfectly. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to Bleach Eye.